Well, the video you all are about to watch is about an 06 Chevrolet Tahoe that was at the shop where I, you know, work at or help out at. And for the past couple days, two mechanics, including, including the boss mechanic, could not seem to figure out why this truck wasn't starting for an alarm system problem. You turn the key on, when you go to start it, nothing happens, it's just the headlights go out. So, and the alarm light stays on. Alarm light staying on made me believe that the um, fuse must have been blown because the lights still come on, but the alarm light stays on. Which indicates a problem because I just first taking my stupid electrical class, which I apparently learned something from. So, that video will tell you about that. And also, the funny thing, why I want you here in the video, but you don't know the background about it is. I came in there, well, I've been there a couple of days, but for that Friday, Wednesday to Friday I was there, and when I got there Friday, the um, guy, one of the guys who works there, that was his nephew's truck, and uh, he's, not his nephew, but the guy who works there, who knows him, was his nephew, uh, told me, he said, if you can get that truck started, you can have it. So I didn't really think nothing of it. So later on, when the when the, it, when the uh, owner started fooling with it, well, then he went to go fix something else. So I said, you know what? Let me use my electronic little skills. Went over there and checked the fuses, which this the guy who left the shop supposedly was supposed to check. And uh, he um, didn't. So. I checked it. Well, maybe he, maybe, maybe, maybe let me rephrase that. He probably checked it because we had the fuse box out, so it wasn't getting current sent to it all the way. Because when you had the fuse box out, the lights and everything wouldn't come on with the key on and all that crap. So we put, put, we pushed that back down, then get all the lights come back on, so now I have power going to it. So we had a regular. Um, car battery because his battery was apparently going down which is what we believe may be the cause of why the fuse blew in the first place so we had that and then we checked it better voltage and I checked the voltage going in and down of the fuse there was no voltage coming out the fuse there was voltage going in the fuse which in the case that it just blown so pulled the fuse out well you'll see in the video we'll just put it that way so you just have to watch sweet so hopefully maybe I get a new truck Awesome. For free. So, y'all see in the video, which I'm about to edit now. This is going right before it. We got this, uh, I don't know what year this thing is. It's a... 1205. It's a 06. Chevrolet Tahoe. Won't start for an alarm system problem. That's what we're thinking it is. Now, there's three people working in this shop. Nobody could seem to figure it out. Somebody claims they checked the fuses, they didn't. Me taking the stupid electrical class I hate. Checked the fuses and found that the fuse, that there's a fuse for a, where is it? If I can find it. Here we go. The key ignition system theft determinant system. That fuse is blown. So if we put another fuse in here, this truck should start right up. And I told the owner of the shop, I said, you might have to pay me for this job. Sweet. Put the fuse in it, do a cold start, and see if it starts. So we're gonna find out in a minute. I'll check back with you in a second. This will be the second time I fixed the car here. The first time it was a car with a that wasn't running and it needed a mass airflow sensor and that was the only way we'd figure that one out too. So we're gonna find out. It's Friday. I'm on a roll here. The fuse has been replaced. Let's see if I get a truck. The secure light goes out. For some reason we have to hold the key. But it starts. Got one a truck, y'all. 
Can trust your Chevrolet. Definitely. Awesome.